Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Hypixel Skyblock. And today we are going to be crafting ourselves the weird tuba. This uh, weird tuba, I don't know if you guys have made it yourselves, but uh, we're going to be making this today. And uh, just to test out how good it is, but... I mean, it is somewhat decent, I guess, uh, the plus 30 strength, but the one downside is uh, 150 mana. That costs a lot, I'm not gonna lie. That's the only downside that I do not like about it. Might as well test it, you know, and see if uh, it's worth it to make at least. The only good thing about it is obviously the strength and then the speed that you get from it. You get plus 30. That's, uh, that's the only... <laughs> good side that I can think about it. It works up to four players at the same time. So if you have it down or if you like place it, well not place it, but if you activate it, then uh, it'll activate for the others as well around you, only four others. So if you have a full on maxed out co-op party with you, or at least up to four other players with you in your party, then everyone around you can have up to plus 30 strength and plus 30 speed as well, instead of just you, <laughs> which is good. Obviously it depends on the armor that you're wearing. And if you're doing it solo as well, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna I mean if unless you have a lot of mana by yourself, then uh, you'll be fine. But you're gonna need a lot of mana so that you can actually use this weird tuba and then also combine it with the uh, power orb or whatever you have, mana flux or the radiant orb. Unless you have the final tier, then all right. <laughs> you're gonna be needing a lot of, uh, well, not a lot of enchanted iron, just a little bit. You're just gonna be needing 100 enchanted iron, which is like a stack in 36. Yeah, a stack in 36. And then you're also gonna be needing 20 golden too, just to make this weird tuba. And you're going to be needing 10 enchanted gold. And you also need 40 uh, wolf tooth in order for you to make this uh, weird tuba as well. If you want to get the 20 gold in two, you can finally make yourself this uh, weird tuba. I don't know how... <laughs> great is gonna be i mean i don't know i'm gonna transfer it out in my inventory if i were to use this uh, consistently but i would say it's only good if you're going against like certain bosses i guess or any boss <laughs> i guess we can go ahead and find out if it's worth it i mean it depends on the armor you're wearing again uh if i'm wearing my wise dragon set well it's not gonna cost me too much then uh yeah, I thought I glitched out, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Yeah, I was like, wait. Its item ability is Howl. And uh, you and four nearby players gain 30 strength and 30 speed for 20 seconds. And then the cooldown is 20 seconds. Our strength is up to 178. Right now, I think we would be at 148 with this armor that we have. And our speed, all right, so it did go down. Our strength is at 148. We use this again, then we would get up to 178 strength and 158 speed. So yeah, we do gain the speed and strength. So I guess let's uh, go ahead and test this weird tuba out against other mobs. But before we go over there, let's um, get ourselves this uh, unstable armor just so that we can get some extra damage, you know? I want to see how much damage we can do. We're going to test out with our wise dragon set, which doesn't have any extra stuff. So yeah, I do plus 30 strength, plus 30 speed is uh, pretty good good i guess yeah see how much damage this thing will do against other mobs if we activate it let's go over to the end i mean i guess we can test out against the enderman for now and just like test out the ender slayer on these guys and see how much damage we do if we use our pigment sword against some of these endermen how much damage do we do Twenty-one thousand. all right Twenty-one thousand. okay 31,368 and then with the Raider Axe we do up to uh, we do 16,000 all right so 16,000 Raider Axe and then 21,000 for the Pigment Sword and then uh, let's go ahead and see how much damage you do but so that was with this strength with our stats right now and then if we hold our Pigment Sword our strength is at 273 and then if we activate this we would get up to 330 three maybe let's see so we activate that we have a few seconds so now we have twenty three thousand crit damage so we went up uh two thousand extra crit damage i like that if we don't get any regular damage obviously but yeah twenty three thousand and then with the raider axe we went up to seventeen thousand instead of sixteen thousand so we almost went up to like two thousand because it's like seventeen thousand nine hundred and then we had like sixteen thousand and i think yeah sixteen thousand two hundred forty four so we went up a little bit you know almost okay but we only went up like one point seven 7,000 extra crit damage. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. But that was with this Y set without any extra crit damage or anything like that, extra strength. So let's wear our unstable armor. And uh, <laughs> I think we did like 28,000. Yeah, 28,900. So yeah, 28,900 with the pigment sword and then our raider axe. 22,000, all right. And if we take a look at our stats, we have 313 strength and then 474 crit damage. So our strength went up by a lot and then plus 30, we would get up to 343 with the pigment sword. And then with the raider axe, we would get up to, wait, 361? Hello? I get more strength on my 
Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> 173 and then 125. Okay. Raider Axe, we're gonna have a lot of strength. That's kind of scary. So we would get up to 386 strength if we use our weird tuba. So if we use our weird tuba now and then test with the pigment sword, we do 31,000. Okay. And then a weekend one. Eh, yeah, that doesn't really matter. The weekend ones. Let's see. 31,000. Okay. And then with our Raider Axe, let's see how much we do. So we do 45, 24,000 instead of like, what was it again? 22,000? So yeah, we went up like 2,000 extra crit damage. And then our Pigment Sword went up like 3,000, I think. So yeah, 28,000 to 31,000. And then our Raider Axe. Oh, well, and that was just 100% proc the Love Thing Talisman, whatever. So I think we did 21,000 with the Raider Axe. 22,000, okay, well, wait, we are two, but how much do you do? 24,000, okay, yeah, we went up to 2,000 extra crit damage and then payment sword, 3,000 extra. I like this, and with this set, dude, with this unstable dragon, against at least Enderman, we do up to 31,000 consistently. Well, not consistently, but only on first strike. And then probably after that, we do 28,000 maybe. That's over there at the end while using this uh, set. So let's go ahead and see how much damage we do with the regular mobs. With the weather skeletons, we do 23,000 with the pigment sword and then raider axe we do 17,000 all right let's uh, use our weird tuba and see how much pigment sword does 25,000 we went up 2,000 extra i think it's just gonna do 2,000 extra every time then raider axe 19,000 instead of 17,000 right so yeah only 2,000 extra which isn't bad so i would say it just goes up 2,000 extra crit damage yeah i think that's how much we would be doing with this weird tuba pigment sword against mammy cubes we do up to 26,000 and raider axe we do up to 20,000 against the uh, magma cubes all right and then uh, let's go ahead and see how much damage we do with uh, the weird tube so pigment sword 29,000 maybe then so uh, yeah, 29,000. And then Raider Axe, we would do up to 22,000. Well, that one was weakened, but let's see. I don't know. Yeah, 22,000, uh, like 2,000 extra damage still. And then for the Pigment Sword, it only went up like a little bit. It only goes up 2,000 extra crit damage with our Unstable set, which I'm probably going to be using the most when I use this weird tuba, at least on certain mobs. So the weapon I'm going to be replacing probably, I'm not going to be replacing the Zombie Sword. I'm going to be replacing the Rogue Sword instead. So I'm going to have it in my fifth slot instead. I'm going to be replacing my Rogue Sword if I wear this set. Probably, yeah, probably any set, even with the Wise maybe. Uh, uh, probably not. I'll probably replace something else than the Rogue Sword. But as of right now, I actually tested this uh, weird tuba out <laughs> on the Tarantula boss already. And uh, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, with this set on, I do a lot of uh, damage to the Tarantula boss. And yeah, I've been grinding it a little bit here and there. And I have been using the weird tuba. I don't <laughs> activate it first thing because uh, the pots that I use, I use Dodge 3, Critical 3. Uh, I think Critical 3, yeah, Critical 3. And then Strength 5 as well. And uh, I do quite a lot of damage to these guys and to the tarantula boss i do up to like i think twenty-eight thousand with those pots uh procced and with the pigment sword at least and when i use the weird tuba getting the plus 30 strength i do up to 31 to thirty-three thousand crit damage every time against the brute father it's pretty good dude i mean so you don't activate it first thing first <laughs> all right you don't activate it first because uh that'll mess you up for sure you would have to uh, place down okay if you don't want to use your regeneration potion i mean i don't know about the radiant orb but if you have the mana flux power orb you should definitely place this uh power orb first the mana flux and then after that uh, obviously if you have enough mana and if you don't then just let the power orb regenerate your mana in order for you to actually activate the weird tuba and then you know you slay the tarantula boss here and then you just activate the weird tuba and yeah you can just do damage to it you don't really need regeneration pots uh, if you have the mana flux power orb to fight against the uh, brute father at least for me <laughs> i don't really need it i just need power orb mana flux and then i can get the my health back up so yeah, as long as i'm not away from the power orb then i'm good but if i am away from it <laughs> yeah i lose uh i lose a lot of health and uh, i could easily die if i don't have the mana flux power orb proc i activate this thing first and hopefully i'm in a good spot where you know the tarantula boss doesn't go away from me and uh, i don't get knocked down to the bottom of the floor or something then i can just uh, use the power orb and then stick into a spot which i usually just like go into a corner and i put like the power orb somewhere and then once my mana regenerates to 150 i use my weird tuba if i need to because uh, i still do enough damage and i can just activate the weird tuba if i want to and like kill it fast enough so yeah 
I mean, the weird tuba, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. I would say it is useful if you have the Mana Flux Power Orb. If you don't have the Mana Flux Power Orb and you're using a different set, it doesn't give you a lot of mana like the Wise or the Magma Armor neither. That gives you a lot of mana. And then... I would say probably don't use the weird tuba, but if you have this Mana Flux Power Orb or the other upgraded version one, I, I don't know what it's called, but you know, it's the red Power Orb. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that it's color red, I believe. You can use this, get some of your mana regenerated, and then you can use the weird tuba. And you can use this on other bosses as well, just like the Revenant Zombie, the Sven Pack Masters as well. Yeah, combining this weird tuba with your massive armor set could be good. And then combining it with this, maybe? <laughs> I see, as long as you place down your radiant orb, you're good. The other thing I forgot to mention is if we take a look at our mana flux power orb, we get 10 strength and then plus 30. That's pretty much another legendary set. <laughs> so yeah, plus 40 strength. You know how you get like plus 10 strength every each piece of your armor set on a legendary. If you either go for godly or strong, you get plus 10 strength. And then if you go for a forceful, you get plus 15 strength a piece. But uh, yeah, plus 10 and then uh, that's 40 total strength and then plus another 40. But you basically have another set of legendary with you if you use the weird tuba and the mana flux power orb together. Let's go ahead and see what the other power orb is. I wonder how much strength it gives you. So what is it called? The over Flux power orb. This one, wow, 100% base mana region. Okay, so if you have this, it is definitely worth using the weird tuba. And then heals 2.5. Yeah, that's good, you know. And it increases all heals by 5% and then grants 25 strength. So you would have 55 strength. So you basically have four pieces of godly, legendary, and you also have another piece of forceful with you, I believe. So yeah, uh, pretty good. If you combine this and... Wow. I'm not gonna lie though. Once I get to this level, getting these golden tooth isn't really gonna be that difficult. If I just grind a whole bunch. <laughs> Yeah, I can easily get this overflux power orb. And then this hunter ring, wow, gain 5% combat XP from monster kills. That is actually good. Because it'll mean you have less, like, kills that you have to do in order for you to actually spawn in the boss. So that'll be quicker. Well, actually, this first one's gonna be easy to get the hunter talisman once I get to the level. And then hunter ring. Yeah, getting this grizzly bait. It's gonna be a rare drop, I believe. I mean, I think we got everything from the Sven pack master. So we got the red claw talisman. I think I need to upgrade my talisman, actually, the red claw uh, into an epic one. We got master. If we got this red claw ring red claw artifact yeah once i get the red claw egg if i grind then i'll be grinding for the golden tooth and then going for the enchanted leather then upgrade it to the artifact and then uh, i think we have everything we have edible mace weird tuba we have the armor pack we got the mana flux power or pooch sword expect that in a bit you know later and then we have massive we have shaman sword yeah we pretty much have everything except for the last level or the last hunter ring the overflux power orb and the pooch sword the artifact as well the red claw and we pretty much have everything unlocked in the sven pack master and we went against the sven pack master level four easily with our massive armor set and uh yeah, now I just need to get this egg and uh, that raw salmon, whatever, the grizzly bear one. <laughs> I don't know. Next thing, I just need to go ahead and grind the spider one now. And uh, yeah, right now I got all the way up to level 5. I just need to grind enough tarantula silk and enchanted iron in order to unlock it. And then I also need to grind to level 6 and see level 7. Get the scorpion foil, maybe the flycatcher. I don't know, this one's really expensive and probably not worth it. Except for the plus 10 speed that you get on your minions. And then uh, probably try to go for the scorpion bow as well. Test that out and you're probably going to be needing it in order for you to upgrade into the maybe. I don't know, into the mosquito bow. And that's probably going to be unlocked in level 7, I think. Because I think you're going to need the mosquito like flesh whatever which is gonna be <laughs> luck based basically i think you might need the scorpion bow as well maybe i don't know i'm not sure probably i would expect you do need it eh, in order to upgrade it to the mosquito bow but maybe not until i get to level six and then i can check but yeah yeah i'll be able to get to level six uh, real quick in a bit anyways i think i'm gonna be ending the video here all we just did is make the weird tuba tested it and uh, i would say it's good here and there if you just want to do extra damage if you want to waste that extra mana if you want to get a little bit extra strength and uh, speed and the speed doesn't really matter to me <laughs> it's just the strength only if they got rid of the plus 30 speed and then you know add maybe plus 30 crit damage or another plus 30 strength and then uh, this weird tuba will actually be worth it as of right now uh, i'm using it i like it it's not bad it's actually good at least doing extra damage at least with my unstable set you know obviously <laughs> and once i start using the other armor pieces like mastiff and all that to fight against other bosses you know i'll be testing the weird tuba to see if it's uh, good or not. And then with the uh, edible mace, eh, for tier 3, like the boss, Fen Pack Master, it's alright. <laughs>
I mean, you don't really need a waste of 100 mana, but I do. It actually doesn't do any damage to you, so yeah, I guess uh, I'll show you guys that later this week when I make the Pooch Sword, and then we can test out Double Mace plus the Weird Tuba, and then combine all those, combining with the Mana Flux Power Orb, and uh, yeah, just destroy the Tier 3 Sven Pack Master, so... <laughs> Yeah, with the push sword as well, dude. And <laughs> when that video comes out, that's gonna be a rip to the Sven Pack Master, but uh, whatever, dude. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys wanna make the weird tuba, you can. If you wanna do extra damage, it's not bad. So it's definitely better than the edible mace. <laughs> 100%, but uh, yeah, the only downside is the mana cost, but... If you have the power orb, or if you have the, <laughs> the other good, you know, overflux power orb, well, definitely use the weird tube if you have that one. And uh, yeah, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.